The Biden administration in the U.S. has submitted a proposal to help young people become homeowners. But will it make a difference? I'm Kalila Reynolds, financial journalist and educator. So the Biden administration is proposing to set aside 26 billion U.S. dollars to help alleviate some of the pressure in the U.S. housing market. The housing situation in the U.S. is pretty intense right now. Mortgage rates are at a decade high of 8 percent, and mortgage demand is at its lowest point in nearly 30 years. See, during the height of the pandemic, interest rates were super low, meaning mortgage rates were super low. This caused a massive uptick in home purchases. But ever since the financial crisis in 2008, developers have kind of been underdeveloping housing to avoid another fiasco. So the rule of supply and demand kicked in. Huge demand with limited supply means an increase in prices. U.S. housing prices soared during the pandemic. But then interest rates started going up and up and up, and housing prices stayed high and the supply stayed limited. All that translated to people being unable to afford to buy a house. Now, the crisis is disproportionately affecting young people or would-be first-time homeowners. CEO of Profit Jumpstarter Keisha Bailey talked about it recently on Taking Stock. We're seeing now mortgage rates being higher. The effect of that on U.S. housing prices is that it's become way more unaffordable for a lot of persons, especially first-time home buyers, they can't really afford a house. And so they, there's this new thing coming up that, you know, a generation maybe end up being lost because you're going to have so many people who are now just entering the workforce, ready to start a family, and they can't afford to buy a house because it's just so expensive. So the U.S. government is proposing a $16 billion program that would build or rehabilitate 400,000 homes for families. They're also proposing a $10 billion down payment assistance program for first-time home buyers whose parents do not own a home. $100 million of that would be set aside to help pay the down payments for first-generation Americans and or low-income first-time home buyers. So it's a very interesting plan. The U.S. Congress still has to approve it. But if this does go through, it could be a game changer for many young people. You know, many of our parents bought their first home in their 20s. But with inflation, it's taking our generation much longer to achieve the same thing. So this would make it easier for millennials and Gen Z to become homeowners. And that's the bottom line. What do you think of this move? Do you think it'll make a difference? And is it something the Jamaican government should consider? Subscribe to my newsletter for money news like this straight to your inbox. Click the link up here or in the description below. Let's get this money. Let's get this money. <laughs> <laughs>